What's up YouTube, it's MWS and Insta360 just released a pretty substantial update for the One R. The firmware came out on 3.30, uh, the version is 1.1.10 and let me read through some of the updates and fixes that came along with this firmware. Uh, number one, you can now shoot in 24 and 25 FPS, I know we've all been waiting for that. Uh, number two, the, the 30 FPS for 4K wide angle lens can now apply basic stabilization and can be saved in MP4 format. Number three, one R now starts up much faster. Love a faster boot up time. Number four, you can now save 360 video with H2, H.264 encoding. Uh, number five, the vertical battery base is now supported. What vertical battery base? Um, is that for the drone? If not, I want one. Uh, number six, screen brightness is now dimmed when the shutter speed is set higher than five seconds. This allows for accurate monitoring during shooting. Number seven, optimize the audio quality in camera recording, added voice boost and wind, in, wind intense in wind noise reduction. Number eight, optimize the audio for the mic adapter. Number nine, uh, fixed an issue that causes frames to drop or the camera to stop when shooting 4K 60, 60 FPS with 4K wide angle mod or one inch wide angle mod. I've heard of this problem, but I haven't been able to recreate it. So I've, I've never experienced it. Number 10, fix an issue where the screen would flicker when the camera is set to maximum brightness. Number 11, one R is now more stable, crashes less often and runs smoother. So with that said, I wanna talk about what this video is about. So I'll be testing some of the new audio updates. I'll be testing three different areas. I wanna test first, the Bluetooth audio connection. Not listed anywhere in the update, but it's in there. So I'm gonna test it by connecting up my AirPods and then also my Echo Buds. Yeah, so it's not just AirPods. It seems to be like most Bluetooth head headphones or headsets. Uh, number two, I'll be testing the audio, the new audio level. So there's a new voice boost for daily use. There's a wind intense enhanced wind reduction. And then also I can turn all of that off. And so I'll be testing that. And then number three, I'll go through the standard uh, test with the mic adapter. So I'll be testing a wired lapel mic. I'll be testing the Rode Video Micro. Um, I'll also be testing the portable ceramonic mic. And then I'll also be testing the Rode Wireless Go. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump right into all, the, all these different audio tests. Alright, so let's get started by pairing the AirPods to the Insta360 ONE R. So, I'll go ahead and swipe down. Uh, there's the AirPods icon right there. I'll go ahead and click on it. I'll go ahead to connect to another device. Start search. All right, it found the AirPods. I'll go ahead and click on it. Now that it's connected, I'll go ahead and put the AirPods in. And then I'll go ahead and try an audio test. All right, let me go ahead and hit record. This is an audio test with the AirPods connected to the Insta360 ONE R. This is an audio test, audio test one, two, three, four. And I'm about a foot away. So now I'll stand up and I'll back up to about six feet, walking backwards very slowly. This is an audio test, put me about six feet away from the Insta360 ONE R connected via Bluetooth with the uh, AirPods. Audio test one, two, three, four. And now I'm slowly walking back. This is an audio test of the Insta360 ONE R connected via Bluetooth using the Echo Buds. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four, and I'm about six feet away. I mean, one foot away from this, and now I'll walk about six feet away. I'm walking, walking. All right, now I'm about six feet away. This is an audio test using the Echo Earbuds connected to the Insta360 ONE R. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. And I'm walking back, walking back. Next up, I'll go ahead and test the internal mic. Uh, I'll be testing the voice boost, 
the uh, enhanced wind noise reduction and then finally testing it with all, all of those different features turned off so let's go ahead and get this screen back on here all right swipe down from the top slide over go into settings all right wind noise let's go ahead and turn on the voice boost which they have daily all right This is an audio test, uh, testing the new voice boost daily uh, audio on the Insta360 ONE R. I'm about a foot away. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. This is an audio test. I'm testing the new intense, enhanced wind reduction mode. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. This is an audio test with none of the enhanced voice features on, on the Insta360 ONE R. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. Audio test 1, 2, 3, 4. And now for the part I've been looking forward to the most, testing out the ONE R mic adapter. They said that they've optimized it, so we should be getting better sound for the passive microphones like the Rode Video Micro, the Saramonic Portable Mic, or even um, lapel microphone. So let me go ahead and get this test started now. So right now I have the lapel mic uh, connected to my shirt and I'll go ahead and do a quick audio test. This is an audio test of the lapel microphone connected directly to my shirt, connected to the one R microphone adapter. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. This is an audio test testing the Rode Video Micro connected to the one R microphone adapter. I'm about a foot away. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. This is an audio test with the Saramonic mic connected to the Insta360 ONE R mic adapter. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. Last but not least, I have the Rode Wireless Go attached to the ONE R microphone adapter. This is an audio test. Audio test one, two, three, four. Audio test one, two, three, four. Now that I'm done testing audio in the three different categories, I want to run back through this list and give you my initial thoughts and impressions. For the Bluetooth audio connection, I tested the AirPods and the Echo Buds. I think the technology is really cool. I'm glad that it's there, um, but there's a lot of clipping. Um, when I'm moving back and forth, it's clipping in and out. I don't think this is my ideal way of uh, capturing audio, but in a pinch, I think it would work well. And I do want to note that when I was testing the uh, Echo Buds, if I had in both headphones, for some reason, uh, it wouldn't capture the audio correctly. But when I wore one, it worked just fine. I'm not sure if it's a me thing or I'm, am I not supposed to be using Echo Buds with them with the One R at all. Number two, I tested the internal mic. Um, I tested the voice boost, the in enhanced wind noise, and then finally turning all of them off. The voice boost sounded really good. It was loud, it was crisp, but I've never had a problem with the One R's microphone. Uh, the enhanced wind reduction, uh, it sounds a lot louder, but it's still really tinny. Not my ideal way to capture audio. But then again, I've never heard um, wind noise reduction sound really great on any of the action cameras. So I think uh, if it's picking up your voice better and it's louder, then that's always a plus. And finally, turning all of the enhancements off the audio sounds like it did before the firmware update. It still sounds good to me. Um, I don't know if people would say it's the best audio, but it's definitely usable audio that comes across very clear. And to me, I, I liked it. And last but not least, I tested the uh, One R mic adapter, which was supposed to be optimized. I'll start from the bottom up. So I tested the wireless Go first, and that's an active mic. So it still sounds good. No change there. The portable Saramonic mic and the Rode Video Micro, they don't sound very good. They actually got quieter and then the hiss is still there. So I'm not sure what's actually happening. And then for the wired lapel mic, the audio sounds pretty decent there, but there's still a hissing, but it's a lot louder than the Rode Video Micro and the portable Saramonic mic, maybe because it's drawing less power. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's happening there, um, but I will definitely reach out to Insta360 and see what they have to say. And you know, if, if they do say anything or there's a new update, I'll go ahead and post it on my channel. But if you guys like uh, this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell um, icon so you guys are notified whenever I post new content. Um, 
I really appreciate you guys for checking out the channel, all the love and support uh, over the last couple of videos of me constantly testing microphone adapters. But other than that, uh, I'm out YouTube. Peace.